Hi friends, welcome to Anasol. Today is the 36th episode in the space series. In the last episode of space, we discussed about what ISRO is. Which ISRO is the two... So now, like a summary, ISRO is the National Space Agency of India. ISRO stands for Indian Space Research Organization. So now, let's go to the main thing. So, today we are going to th- discuss about ISRO's launch vehicles. So, launch vehicles are rockets. So, you may have thought, some people think that launch, rockets are the things which go into space. But actually, rockets are the thing, rockets send satellites which then go into space. While rockets sometimes come back or even explode or if the f- mission is failed, we can't ever again see that rocket yes so these rock to easily say a rocket slash a launch vehicle is just like a bus so the satellites are people while the rockets are the bus yes so let's get in get to the video so during the 1960s and 1970s india initiated its own launch vehicle so into geopolitical and economic considerations so in this period india wanted to make their own launch vehicles slash rockets yes so they, there are various types of launch vehicles developed by isro so they are the slv the aslv the pslv the gslv the sslv and other reusable rockets how many slvs are there here so now so now let's start so first the slv or the satellite launch vehicle so this was the first rocket developed by isro yes so this was the first ever rocket so it successfully launched in its third attempt yes yeah so its first two attempts were failed yeah. ouch so next the augmented satellite launch vehicle or the aslw so the slv and aslv both could carry small satellites weighing up to 150 kilograms to lower earth orbit so first we must dis- discuss about what earth orbits are so up to now there are two types of normal earth orbits two simple earth orbits they are the low earth orbits and the high earth, or- earth orbits in the low earth orbits are small satellites like remote sensing satellites while in the high earth orbit there will be communication satellites which will send a commun- of course communicate with the all of the world so they need to have a better influence so, so over the world so they are far more far from the earth then they can see more of the earth yes so that's why these communication rockets i mean communication satellites are at the high earth orbit and the other smaller rockets are at the low earth orbit in gps ro- i mean gps satellites are included as medium as medium earth orbit so there is also medium earth orbits which is of course in the medium of high and low earth orbits yes so the slv and the slv can only carry satellites weighing up to 150 kg to low earth orbits you may think 150 kg it's very heavy but in rocket terms it is very light most rockets have like 3000 kg of payload yes yes 3000 that means 3 tons 3 to 6 tons yeah so the aslv operated till the early 1990s before the pslv came on the scene so the aslv wasn't that of a good rocket or the launch vehicle so isro preferred other rockets not the aslv so next the PSLV or the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. Yes. So it is the most reliable rocket used by ISRO till date. So it successfully launched two spacecrafts, Chandrayaan-1 in 2008 and the Mars Outer spacecraft in 2013 or the Mangalyaan. So this pol- this PSLV sends many things including low earth orbit things 
end also to space like so the chandrayaan 1 and mangalyaan went out into space instead of just orbiting the earth they went into the moon and mars yes so next the and also this pslv and gslv which will come next or can carry lots of weight compared to a, the aslv and the slv yes i think up to now i said many times the word slv yes so next the gslv i mean gslv or the geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle so first what does geosynchronous mean so this this gslv normally sends satellites into high earth orbit that high earth orbit is known as geosynchronous something something and transfer orbit yes or gto so this gslv sends the communication satellites to up to that gto orbit yes so the so this was indigenously developed i mean this has indigenously developed cryogenic upper stage forms the third stage in the GSLV MK2 so up to now there are two good designs in the GSLV yes so they are the MK2 and the MK3 next the MK3 versions have made isro entirely self sufficient for launching its satellites so the MK3 version is the most heaviest rocket in whole of isro or in the whole of rockets made of isro yes it can take a powerful payload into space yes i mean lots of payload not a powerful so before this we depended on the european ariane launch vehicle to take heavier satellites into space at that time we didn't have our own gslv3 yes yeah, i mean gslv mk3 version but now we have and we can send heavy payloads into space yes so next the small satellite launch vehicle or the sslv so it is targeted at rising global demand for the launch of small and micro satellites it can carry up to 500 kg kilograms so this small small satellite launching vehicle is of course the size is small so in so normally if we use pslv and or gslv to send low earth orbit satellites then then we will, we will waste lots of fuels and lots of i mean it is lots of expensive so that's why we, india created another rocket that is the sslv so this can just take up to low earth orbit and come back and so if we use the gslv or the pslv it will take uh, lots of money yes so that's why india used the sslv and finally the rockets are complete and now reusable rockets slash future rockets so the future rockets are meant to be reusable yes so only a small part of the rocket would be destroyed during the mission yes so for example there's a rocket going up to space think of this as a rocket so it go went up to space it so it sent a satellite and came back but mostly these rockets are not reusable but after these future rockets slash reusable rockets come they will just send the ro- satellite and just come back and then be used for another mission until it is failed then boom it's not alive anymore ouch <laughs> so these would cut down on cost and energy and also reuse reduce space debris so they would then be junk in space anymore so this is for today about isro launch vehicles bye